Hello again and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. My name is Joe, and this is a 10 minute kettlebell workout. All you need is one kettlebell and 10 minutes of your time. The reason it's a short workout today is because it's September the 21st, which means it's my 38th birthday. I've got a day planned out with Rosie and the kids in London, but I wanted to fit a workout in just to give me some energy, get me feeling good for the day, and this is gonna do just that. 10 moves, uh, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest. We're gonna start things off with one kettlebell in the hands, nice and close to the chest. We're gonna do a goblet squat. So don't let the weight come forwards, keep it really close, hug it, squat down into that nice deep squat position, drive through the heels of the feet, stand up tall, squeeze the bum, squeeze the quads. That's our first exercise. So 10 moves, 10 minutes, if you can, good tempo, good technique, and do as many reps as you can, obviously, with that good form. So, goblet squat, I'm using a 16 kilogram kettlebell here, nice and controlled, we're starting in five seconds time. Control movement down, drive through the heels. Off we go, so squat down low, Drive up, squeeze those quads, squeeze those glutes. Really think about keeping that weight nice and close to the chest. Back nice and straight, looking straight forwards. Lovely, so yeah, it's my 10 minute birthday workout. I thought I'd keep it short. It's a lovely sunny day here in Surrey. And yeah, the weather looks good. It's gonna be a nice day. 38 years old, eh? Driving through the hills again, squeeze those glutes, really activate those muscles. We've got another 10 seconds on the clock, then we're gonna rest for 20 seconds. The slower you go, the harder it's gonna be. More time under tension. Last rep, and rest, brilliant. So, kettlebell down, we're gonna go into the classic kind of kettlebell swing now, which is more of a posterior exercise, so hamstrings and glutes. So we're not thinking about, you know, bending the legs a lot here. We're not trying to bend and squat the weight. We're actually trying to thrust the weight forward using our hips, so hamstrings and glutes, swing it to eye level. Off we go. So we're soft, soft sort of bending the legs. Soft bend. The kettlebell comes through the legs, almost hits the bum and squeeze those glutes to drive forwards. So I'm not doing this, I'm not squatting really low. I'm not using the quads. I'm just hinging from the hips to stick that bum out and squeeze the glutes. That's where the momentum comes from. Hamstrings and glutes. You're trying to swing it to eye level if you can. Thrust those hips forwards. Ah. And really feel this one. Ah, yeah, when you get that right with decent weight, it's right there in the bum, straight away. Okay, that's two completed. Next thing we're gonna do is a squat into a higher pull. So we're squatting down with the weight. I'm gonna pull it up nice and high, sort of towards the chin, leave the elbows. So working off the back. So like this, we're gonna squat down. High pull, so squat, high pull, brilliant. Squat down, high pull. So yeah, 38 years young today, born in 1985. My mum was 19 years old, she's so young. But I went out for dinner with her last night and I, I love that she, was, she had me young because I've got loads of time with her now. She's the best little, she's the best mate and she's such a great nonna to the grandkids. All right. Last 10 seconds, lift those elbows up, down and up. Squatting down and up, good and relax. Feel that in the upper back, these muscles up here. Okay, recover, 20 seconds to rest. This is moving quite quick, it's a short session. So number four, we're gonna do some reverse lunges. And what I'm gonna do, you've got two options really. You can hold the weight, obviously, by your side and do sort of 20 seconds on each leg, or hold the weight here and just go straight in. Off we go. I'm just gonna hold the weight in a sort of goblet squat position, so holding it close to the chest. Lunge back, feet together. Again, control that weight. Slowly on the way down. Drive for the heel of the front foot. Lovely stuff. I do like kettlebells, it's a good bit of kit to invest in. A lot of exercises and it's very obviously, you know, they're not that, they're not, they're not, they're not super expensive, but quite versatile, don't take up too much space. And it is a good workout. Ah, five seconds. And rest. Quite cool, feel it in me like up my back there from that previous one. Right, so just shake the arms off a little bit. We're now gonna squat to a press. We're actually gonna hold the weight, squat down, press up. So sort of two moves in one. So I hold the kettlebell like this, close to the chest, squat down and then press above the head. Okay, off we go. So squat down low, come up, 
drive that weight up, squat, press. So getting those legs involved and the shoulders. This is number five of 10. Good, keeping those feet flat on the ground. Drive through the hills, push up. Just don't make sure you don't catch your chin with the kettlebell. Ah. Lovely, good reps. So deep squat, drive through the hills. Come up, press. 10 seconds to go. Yeah. Squat, press. Three, two, one, and recover. Lovely stuff, right, 20 seconds on the clock. Number six, we're gonna do some curtsy lunges. What that means is 20 seconds per arm. Hold it on the right hand to begin with. We're gonna curtsy back and across the body. So 20 seconds, bringing that right leg behind us. Then we switch left side. Off we go, so just coming down nice and slow. I'm bending that back knee. Kettlebell almost touched the floor, so it is touching the floor, so touching the floor, and then drive back. We'll do 30 seconds, sorry, 20 seconds on the right side. Then we'll switch sides. Switching in five seconds. Here we go, so switching sides. Left hand now, opposite side. Good. Next exercise we're gonna do is gonna be down on the ground for some push-ups. So no kettlebell needed for this next one. Just body weight. So stepping across. Drive forwards in five seconds we rest. And rest, brilliant. Okay, so kettlebell down, this is number seven. Push-ups from the knees if you want. If you can do four push-ups, go straight in for the full reps off the knees. Obviously hands sort of shoulder width apart just inside the mat. We're gonna lift ourselves up, lower slowly, chest the floor, full lock if you can. Let's go, so down and up. We're taking our time with this, down and press. Keeping those abs engaged, so really think about that plank, that initial starting position. Squeeze the core muscles. Down and up. Good, more time under tension. It's much harder than just dropping down and bouncing up. So really control it on the way down, lower it. Press up. We're back on our feet in 10 seconds time. So the last few press ups. Back nice and straight, don't dip the back, don't stick the bum in the air. Squeeze those abs, press that plank. Pressing through the plank and rest. You really should feel press up is, it's a really a full body exercise. You actually feel your shoulders and chest working, your quads having to engage, but then that core, that middle part to stop you dipping or arching. Very good. Right, next exercise number eight. It's going quick. Only three more exercises. We're gonna do a deadlift now. So basically gonna bend forward, stick the bum out, stretch those hamstrings and pull through. So you're actually feeling a stretch in the hamstrings, pulling that weight through, using the hamstrings and glutes. Try not to do this, try not to arch the back. Nice neutral spine, stretch. So you're almost sticking your bum backwards and driving through. That's it, yeah, you feel that now. If the weight's too light, you'll, you won't feel this, but if you've got a decent weight, you'll feel it pulling on here. So pull with the glutes and hammies. Pull, squeeze it, good. Stretch, ah. stretch, and squeeze, stretch. And squeeze, brilliant, right. Let's have a little rest, little breather. Two more exercises. We're actually gonna do a single arm swing now. So the same thing like a kettlebell swing, except we're gonna do 20 seconds on the right side. So single arm if you can. If the kettlebell's too heavy for you, just stick with two hands on it. But this is what it is. So it's the same thing that it's a bit more challenging. Off we go. So 20 seconds on the right side, then we'll switch. Again, we're not squatting right into it. Kettlebell stays close to the bum. Drive through the hips, squeezing those glutes. Hold on tight to that kettlebell. I've, I've dropped them before. They've gone swinging. Right, we're switching sides. So nice little transition if you can. And straight in, go. Again, 20 seconds. Think about these glutes. Squeeze and drive forwards. You're doing great. 10 seconds on the clock. This is all about the glutes now. Fire them up. Drive through, three, two, one, and rest. Lovely stuff. Right, recover. Final exercise. We're gonna do a single sort of kettlebell thruster. So we're gonna hold this in the right hand to begin with. Come down, drive up. So squat down, thrust up. 20 seconds on the right, 20 on the left. That's the finisher. Down 
end up, good. Squat down. So you're racking that back in that front position there. Down low, drive up. Down low, drive up, good. We've got another five seconds on this side, then we switch. So last one on this side, good. Quick transition, same again. Squat down, push up. Lovely, really good, good effort. Nice little short 10 minute workout. Get a little bit of energy, shake off the cobwebs. That's good for me, I'm happy with that. Three, two, last one, and press. There we go, 10 minutes in the bag. That's my 38th birthday hit. Happy with that. Hope you had a great workout, thanks for tuning in. If you've got more time, more energy, you could always reset, restart, go back again, do another 10 minutes. If not, well done. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great day. And remember, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's loads more workouts coming for you. It's free. It's every week. Every Sunday I post a new workout. And um, yeah, thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Take care and I'll see you soon.